As you can see, I'm experimenting with some lighting. I'm not entirely sold on it, but I may need to just put it in a different angle. But I have some show and tell items for you. Um, I think I'll show you the more, I'll tell you the, the one that's kind of boring, but not really boring. So you may recognize what this is. I need to set it anyway. And let's see. So it's like 1, 15 in the morning. Okay. 1, 15. So I got to like. I set this thing up backwards last time and it was very sad. So right now it's 115 and I don't want it to be on. So I'm going to leave them up until I want my espresso machine to kick on tomorrow. Um, it's an electric mocha pot with an automatic shutoff. So it's actually pretty perfect. I set it up, sleep for a few hours. This kicks it on. I smell the lovely aroma, stagger over like a zombie, and off I go. So let's have it go at eight. Ah, here's my problem. So I'm gonna press these up. Actually, after this video, I'm gonna go online and make sure that I am doing this right, because. <laughs> And then I don't really want to have any espresso after like five o'clock. So here I go. All I gotta do, press it up there, plug it in, and I am good to go. All right, well, I had to set that up anyway. So I'm just gonna pull it a little bit ahead by the time I record this and put it up uh, for me to adjust it. Okay, so this. So my next item of agenda. Sorry about the iris change. What is it? Oh, it's a little quadcopter. <laughs> As some of you already know, I have a uh, little interest in drones, and more specifically, I don't think you can really call this a drone per se. It's like um. If you want to get technical, you would probably classify it as a remote control quadcopter. Quad copter. Get it? Okay. So let me show you its little bits here. First off, um, this was pretty cool because it's got a little bit more of a learning curve, and I've got a fun idea for it tomorrow. Um, depending on how difficult it is to fly, and if I have time to set it up, I've got to do things like I got to calibrate the accelerometer and it's talking about putting things into modes and I'm gonna have to read this um, anyway so it's a Hubsan X4 which is a very popular little small inexpensive entry-level little quadcopter so I thought that's perfect and supposedly it's pretty decent to fly so you get this and you get Remotes. You've got different controls, which uh, I already put some batteries in there, so I'm ready to go for tomorrow after I get some other responsibilities done. And <laughs> very grateful they have included a little specialty wrench and four replacement little props. So, let's see, there you go. All right. So the other thing which and I put all this back <laughs> where it belongs. Oh, and this is the charger. It just charges on USB. I have a little, um, it's just for charging, charging hub that has five little, it's one of those things from Anchor, which it's wonderful. It's incredible. You should get one. It's cheap. It's so convenient. Actually, you know what? Let me just show it to you. I think it'll reach. So here we go. Right now it's charging a... There's a cradle over there with a sculpt, and this was a day one edition. It's a uh, measures body fat in specific areas, so I kind of use this with my training. And if any of my clients are brave enough for it, they can use it too. So anyway, this is from Anchor, and this is a little USB charger, and you can put five little things in it, 
and there's normally like other stuff plugged in here. But anyway, so I use that to charge things like little batteries. A little battery in here is. This, I feel like this should be a better way to pull these little batteries out because it seems like this is going to be happening a lot. This is a lithium polymer battery, which I was not familiar with that battery type, but uh, I mean, we're all familiar with lithium batteries, but I, I've never heard of lithium polymer batteries before I started talking to the uh, drone and quadcopter and remote control community. Anyway, so I've already charged this and it only took about half an hour. So it fits down in that little spot right there. And then, because you don't want to throw off the balance of this little guy, when you attach it, let's see if I can do this right. Oh, look. Okay, so I've got that here. And then what I want to do is just gently, gently kind of twist and pop that. Oh, no, I did it perfectly when the camera wasn't on. Isn't that how it works? Okay, there we go. So it's got a little kind of ridge there, and so you can kind of keep those little cables put in there. But look how isn't it cute? It's got little eyeballs. And this one has, I haven't taken this out yet, but you see that little red dot? It's, um, it's got a little camera on it. So it's like, it's only like uh, 480p, um, and then it, if you want to use the camera, there's a little slot for a micro SD card. So, pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna unplug that real quick, and then we're gonna talk about why. Ooh, isn't that fun? Why I'm interested in these things. One, because it's fun. Two, I have this idea. <laughs> I'm always coming up with weird workouts, and I'm I've got kind of an idea that if I can get this, if I can fly this pretty okay. Tomorrow, I will put up the first of my little quadcopter workout ideas for you. So anyway, just letting you know what's coming possibly later this week. And I hope you find that to be amusing. Good night.